What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Lightroom 5. I'm going to show you guys how to create a HTML5 picture gallery. It's pretty simple, you don't need to know how to code or do anything like that. And I have an images folder right here. And all I'm going to do is bring it into Lightroom and we're going to import my images. All of them are selected over here and then I'm going to select import. Now once all the images are imported that you want into your project, you're going to click over here and select web. Already I have clean HTML selected. This is an HTML5 gallery. You can click over here, you can change the title. These are hockey pictures, so I can put in NHL. I can select different information over here. I can also change the contact name. I can just put my name. And on the right hand side here, we can change the information. Over here where it says the site info, this is all stuff you can either click here or you can click here. Obviously this one is an email address, so my contact name would change just by clicking it. I can put Jonathan, select over here, and then I can put the email address that I want when someone clicks this, it'll open up their email account, you know, whether it's Gmail or another email uh, provider, and you can email me doing that. Now, the next thing we have over here, you can select next and, or previous, I could select an image, I could select it again to close it out. You can also select next and keep going through the images this way. On the left hand side here, we do have different options. This is another gallery, it's pretty similar to the previous one. This seems a little bit better. You know, you can make some adjustments here. See what I did over here on the right hand side, I increased the image page's size. That way the images are larger. So this looks pretty good with the larger images. And then on the left hand side, you might see some options here, actually a lot of options for flash. That has the F on the left hand side. Right here, I'll show you an example. This is really not meant for a tutorial on Flash. I just really want to show you guys HTML5. I mean, if you want to choose a Flash gallery, you could, but I would recommend the HTML5 version because most people these days, they are working with HTML5, especially for web development. And it's also user-friendly on a mobile device. You can also change the colors over here if you wanted to. We can select a different color like this. That's so the background here is changed. And then if we close this out, we can also change these other colors a lot of different things you can do. Over here we have the grid lines, the numbers we can change the colors of. So it does give you some options so you can make the adjustments that you want. Over here we have the grid pages so you can set up a different grid, especially depending on how many images that you have. And you can also add some photo borders here. So these are pretty much the options for editing your pictures in your gallery. Now you can always export this and I'm going to select my tutorial folder here. I'll call this picture gallery and save that. And this is what your files look like. These are the two pages because there was two pages in the project. I would just say to do this, especially when you have a website and your index page is usually your home page because this is what you call your home page by default. You would want to rename these. So you might want to call it picture gallery or something else. That way it doesn't conflict with your home page. If you have a subfolder, you could call this index, but I would recommend changing the name. The one thing that people might get confused about is how to upload this to your website. So we do have an option here and we can select upload. What we can do is edit it here and right here you'll put your server name, you'll put your username and password. This is for your hosting and this is the server path. So these are things that you would have to do just like you would set up a host in Dreamweaver and I have Dreamweaver open over here. So you can upload these files via Dreamweaver if you want to or you can set it up through Lightroom. It really makes it easy to set up the FTP in Lightroom 5. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. I thought it was really cool. There's a lot of different galleries over here you can select from. This is just to give you an idea of what you can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.